Many people, they still uh, treat the, the subject of uh, death and dying as a taboo. And uh, if you look at some very traditional values uh, of the Chinese culture, um, you will see that uh, death means unlucky. So people, they try not to touch the subject at all. And which pose another difficulties for us because if you don't talk about it, and it's uh, difficult to make preparations. And then people will have many regrets afterwards. We have many barriers to develop uh, palliative care in China because the Chinese uh, never want to talk about death. They, they have a taboo on talking any death. Say a doctor wants to refer a patient to a hospice. Some people may think that if you go to a hospice, um, that means the, uh, the time won't be long. And they don't, they don't really want to face that kind of issue. But I don't think it's just Asian culture that finds death a, a negative thing to talk about. Uh, but among some of the cultures, particularly Chinese culture in Asia, Death is not only just something bad that happens to people, but it's also something that may be contagious um, in terms of bad luck. It's not contagious physically. Um, and I think those ideas um, really need to be changed. In most of the societies, death is discussing death is taboo. Uh, you cannot discuss death, even in, in, in uh, whether this is Eastern societies or Western societies. Death is a taboo in many countries. The elephant in the room, as we may say in the West, that we don't talk about the fact that people are dying. We have a fear that maybe talking about it will take away hope, the will to live. My own experience that in actual fact being honest and talking to people about it doesn't take away hope. It allows people to make responsible decisions about their own future if we address openly the issues that we're talking about. I think the most important way to overcome a fear of death is to have experienced someone else's death when it goes well. I'm struck throughout my career that the actual experience of dying over those months and years is far better than anyone could imagine. The fear comes from imagining what it would be like rather than actually experiencing it yourself in the context of family. One of the ways of approaching this is sort of to de desensitize people by talking more about these things. Increasingly across the board, we are encouraging um, physicians to actually not just blurt out information. It's really careful, to, uh, important to be careful and go into uh, patients and find out what they want to know. So we go in and we actually ask patients what is it that you want to know about your condition? If in fact you don't want me to talk to you about this and talk to your family, I will do it. But we're giving permission back to the patients in order to actually and talk about this important issue. One of the most rewarding things for me as a physician is to be able to watch how people cope well. If they get the proper support, good pain control, good attention to their emotions, good attention to their families and their practical issues, attention to their spiritual life. It goes remarkably well. 